Lesson 54, displaying data in a box and whisker plot. First off, let's go through what a box and whisker plot is. It's just a display of data divided into five groups. And those five groups are the lowest value, which just means the, very, the smallest number in your data set. The first quartile, which is the halfway point between the, middle, the lowest value and the median, or you can think of it as the median of the first half of the data set. Then you have the median, which is the middle number of the whole data set. The third quartile is the halfway point between the median and the greatest value, or the median of the second half of the data set. And then we have the greatest value, which is the largest number overall. And what you see pictured here is our box and whisker plot. Here you got your box. Whiskers are what's out here. And then we have a line in the middle here. That's our median. This is quartile one. This is quartile three. This is your maximum. This is your minimum. And then this asterisk here, that would be an outlier. That one is a number that's way too big compared to all the other numbers. If you had the asterisk over here, that means the number is too small compared to all the other ones. So we'll be looking at creating a box and whisker plots, identifying those five groups, and even identifying if there's an outlier or not. So let's take a look at an example. In 15 hockey games, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9 goals were scored. The number of goals scored can be displayed in a box and whisker plot. So this one has been done for you. Here, we, uh, since I already have the, the goals in order, most times they're not going to be in order. You do need to put them in numerical order from smallest to largest. So then it's easier to find the quartile, the two quartiles and the medians, and it's easier to find the lowest and the, the largest numbers. And so here I split them up. Here's the first half, here's the second half. Since there's 15 games, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So the one number that's not listed is number five because five would be our median and that's why they put a mark right here for the median. Now it's easier for us to identify the quartiles, the halfway point of the first half over here is three. So they put a point at three on our number line. The quartile three, the midpoint or the median is eight. And so they put a point there. And then our maximum and minimum, we have a one here. That's our smallest number. That's why they put a point there. Our largest number is a nine, they put a point there. Those are the ends of our whiskers. So then they just drew their box around the, the middle three with the dot in the middle as your median. Drew your line, then you have your whiskers. And there would be our box and whisker plot. Take a look at another example of analyzing the box and whisker plots. Here we're going to want to use the inner quartile range to identify any outliers. The inner quartile range, or the IQR, that's going to be where half of the numbers are going to be located. That's just the box area. So half of the numbers of the data set are inside the box. And we want to identify the outliers. In order to find the outliers, we use this formula. Like quartile 1 minus 1.5 times the IQR. And in order to find the IQR, to find the IQR, you take your quartile 3 and you minus your quartile 1. So you're really getting your range from the two quartiles. So here we have a box of whisker plots. We are going to identify the quartiles. So quartile 1 is right there, so that would be 70. Quartile 3 would be on this end of the box, which is 90. 
find it in a quartile range, I take my quartile 3, 90, and I subtract my quartile 1, which is 70, and my IQR would be 20. And then I can use that 20 into this equation or in this formula to find any, any uh, outliers. Let's take a look at another example here to find the uh, IQR. This one, quartile one, quartile one would be right here. Now we don't know exactly where it is. We can give best estimates. So we would say, I would say that's probably about 32. I'll say 32. You could have said 31, you could have said 33. I'll just say 32. Quartile three, I would say that's 52. And if I did IQR, I would just take my 52 and I subtract my 32. And again, you get 20 as your IQR. This one is done for us. This uh, box and whisker plot is done for us. It says, make a box and whisker plot to display the data of fish lengths in millimeters recorded by the California Department of Fish and Game. So you can see they're listed. You'll notice that they're not in order. So they put them in order down here, and they made a box and whisker plot. So the question is, half of the fish are between which lengths? And so we are looking for the interquartile range. So from here all the way to here. And if we look at our listing here, it's from quartile one to quartile three. So between which lengths? It would be between 298 and 511 would be where half of the fish are located. Next, we're gonna actually make a box and whisker plot. So you've seen some examples now, let's do one ourselves. Here we need to make a box and whisker plot to display the data of heights of plants in centimeters in a science experiment. And there you can see the data. I already put the data in order for you. So we have, well, how many we have? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 uh, elements in our data. Since we have an odd, uh, even number, we're going to have two middle numbers. We got to look at the seventh and eighth numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So between these two numbers would be our, our median. And how do I know? Because here's one, two, three, four, five, six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have an even number on both sides. Find the middle number. I add those two together and divide by two. Since I have a 94 and 98, I know the halfway point, the quartile or the median would be 96. That's the halfway point. So now, if I have 96 is my middle point. I'm going to draw my uh, number line here. And since we are going from 72 all the way up to 136, let's just count by tens. So I'll have 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Now mark our points. We need my median at 96. So that's halfway, a little bit past halfway between 90 and 100. So I'm going to put a point right here. And I'll draw a line straight down, just marking that's where the medium is. Now we need to find our quartiles. So since our median is 96, I have, this is my first half here, I have seven numbers there, the middle number is 87, so that's going to be our quartile one, so 87 
would be roughly here. I draw a line here as my quartile one. Quartile three, I'm going to cover here, which would be 118 as quartile three. So 118, that would be a little bit before the 120. So now here's my box. So now my whiskers, I need to go with my outer, my smallest number, which is 72. So it's going to be a little bit past the 70. And then I have 136. I'll have to add go to 140 here. 136 would be roughly there. Draw my whisker. And then we could, if need be, we could try to determine if there's an outlier, but right now we're not going to do that. We just wanted to create a box and whisker plot. So there you have it. Half of our numbers are between 87 and 118. Next one, make a box and whisker plot here, and then half the tests are between which scores. So let's put these in order from smallest to largest. So the smallest number is 387. Next one is 411. Then we have 458. Or not 458, uh, 459. Then we have 475, 477, 484, 496, 504, 507, Another 507, 508, 529, 585, 586, 589, and the largest number is 605. So I'll just count how many we have. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I got 16 numbers. The halfway point would be between 8 and 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So between these two numbers would be our median. So our median would be 504 plus 507, 504 plus 507 divided by 2 gives us 505 and a half. We have 505.5. .5. So just make it 505 as a halfway point. That's our median. That means we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the first half. So our fourth and fifth numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So the halfway point between here, our quartile one would be 476. The other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The fourth number, fourth and fifth numbers, one, two, three, four, five. Halfway point. Between 529 and 585, so 529 plus 585, divide that by 2, gives us 557. So those are our quartiles. So the answer to this one, between which, half the test are between which scores, 476 and 557.
I didn't create the full factual history plot to wait for Eric and Christopher to know. I just need to know what are our two quartiles in order to solve that one here. Going on to the next one. Here displaying data including the outliers. And here you can see us using the formulas to find if there's any outliers. So finding if there's any numbers that are too small or too large that we should put an asterisk next to it. And so they found their quartiles. Quartile one is 22, the quartile three is 30. You subtract the two and you get eight. So that's what your IQR is. So then they took your 22 minus the 1.5 times eight gives you a 10. So they looked at their data set to see if there's any number less than 10. And there's not. So there's no number that's too small. For the other one, on the higher end, you took the quartile three, which is 30, plus 1.5 times eight gives you, gives you 42. There is a number that's larger than 42, because we have 47. That's why they have this asterisk by that, because that number is way too big compared to all the other numbers. And the reason why you want to identify that is because if you're trying to find where majority of the numbers are located, or if you're trying to find the average, the, ast the, the asterisk or where the outlier is, that could greatly impact the average. And so you don't want to include that because you notice there's a big gap. There's not a lot of num there's no numbers in between this part. And so you want to identify that there is no numbers. Because if you drew a line, we drew a line all the way to here, you're saying that there is numbers here. And there's not. Now let's try to find out if there's any outliers here. So we'll do a, deploy this in a box and whisker plot. We're just going to use this listing here to create the box and whisker plot. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers. So we have our sixth number would be our median, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is our median, 68 is our median. The halfway point of the first half is 66. So we'll have, this is the first part of our box. And then on this side, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our fourth number would be 70. That's the other end of our box. And then we would have our whiskers here. So we want to see if there's any outliers. So I take, find my quartile range. So it's 70 minus, 70 minus 66 gives you four. This is your IQR. So now I take my 66 minus 1.5 times my IQR, which is four. So 66 minus 1.5 times four gives us 60. Do we have any numbers less than 60? No, we don't. We have one at 60, but not less than 60. The other end, we have 70 plus 1.5 times our IQR, which is four. So 70 plus 1.5 times 4 gives us 76. Do we have any numbers larger than 76? No, we don't. So there is no outliers. And another one here, let's do this box and whisker plots. Let's go put those numbers in order. So we got a 1. We have 18, we got 19, we got another 19, we got a 22, we got a 23, we have, I forgot a 21 here, we got 21, then a 22, then a 23. Then we have 27, 28, 
next one is 34, 37, 43, 44, and 89. Now right here, you could you could easily identify that 89 would be the outlier because that's way, way too large compared to where all the other numbers are. Well, let's just create our box and whisker plots. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers or 7th and 8th numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So between 23 and 20, 27. So 23 plus 27 gives us your 50 divided by 2 is 25. So my median is 25. That's our median. Now let's find our, our quartile one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. Look at our fourth number. That would be our 19. So our quartile one. And then one, two, three, four is 37 would be our quartile three. Find our IQR. We have 37 minus our 19. So 37 minus 19 gives us 18. So we just want to double check that we don't put an asterisk by one. So I take my eight, uh, take my one or my uh, 19 minus my QR, which is 18. So 19 minus 1 times 18, and you get an answer of 1. I don't have a number less than 1, so I can put my point, that's my minimum, my whisker. So here I take 37 minus my 1.5 times 18, so 37 plus, should be plus, 1. 0.5 times 18, and you get 64. And I have 89 is better than 64, so I'm going to put an asterisk by that. That makes my maximum number going to be 44. So I put a point here and draw my whisker. So my outlier would just be 89. On the last slide here, comparing data using the box plot on the calculator. Here you can see on the calculator a box plot with that data on there. One with the asterisk showing the outlier, one without it. And now you can see where majority of the numbers are. And this one right here stands out, which that would be your 10.6. You don't have anything else from 4.7 all the way up to 10.6. So this bottom one would be the most accurate of your data type. That is our lesson today on box and whisker plots.